so I have some magnet towels that I want to talk about. I have two sets of magnet towels here. Um, I have this first one, which is pretty easy to identify. Um, these are kind of like the a good like starter pack for the magnet towels. I have like this kind of like cog in the middle. The second one that I have, which is pretty cool, it looks like stained glass in the middle. That this one, the very first one that I have, um, there are two different types. So they do have different color schemes, like the stained glass one mostly comes in like a uh, pink, blue, and then it also comes in purple, and then it comes in this blue, and then the darker blue. And then the other one, the very first one that we got more has like the primary colors. It comes in orange, yellow, red, and green. Um, the difference between these two is I definitely think that the first set is a good starter set. So the very first one that we got, um, it has like regular tile functionality with it, but the magnets aren't as strong as the second set that we got with the stained glass. Um, there is a price difference on both of them, but the very first set that we got um, was really good for my toddlers um, to kind of test out the abilities of the magnet tiles in the first place. That way they knew how hard they can play with them or how easily they can stick together. Um, the second one has a stronger magnets to them so they hold up a lot better they also came with a couple of like different things like this one has like a door and then we have like different types of windows on here which was really cool the second set also came with a set of stairs it came with two sets of stairs so it did come with two set of stairs the thing with the one with the stained glass it did come with two characters it came with a boy and a girl character we were not able to play with either one of them. Um, they kept coming apart really easily. So if that's the part that sold you on this, maybe don't go with it. Um, but the stained glass option and the color scheme was so cute. And they are way better tiles than the starter set that we originally got. Like, I would buy another set of these tiles purely for, like, the windows. that has, like, bars and, like, the cute little, like, stained glass feature that it has on there. The tiles are pretty strong. Um, so this is a kind of block that was made from like the first tiles that we got, the ones that have like the cogs in the middle. Um, and these are okay, but if you toss them around too hard, they break. Um, and then let me go ahead and build one with the second set. All right, so this is one that's going to be made with the second set, um, just to kind of fully test how good these are. Um, I did use three sides have just like a solid side, three sides have a window. And I'm able to throw this one a lot better than I am able to throw the other one. Um, not that it really matters, not that my kids are really, like, throwing these magnet tiles around. Um, it's more for the fact that, like, they try and build it higher and higher and higher. Um, and they're just trying to see, like, how hard they can actually push the tiles before it'll start breaking in. Uh, which is pretty important to me because my kids will go through and kind of test, like, the ability of how, like, strong the structure that they made is. A couple of things that I have really enjoyed about the magnet tiles in general um, are just like the different things that my kids can create. They've made castles. Um, they, the second set that came with the stained glass, this one actually came with like a book that had kind of like a guide on how to like make certain shapes or like a heart um, and different stuff. This one is definitely, the one with the stained glass is definitely a stronger magnet than the first set that we got but i do recommend maybe getting the first set first just so your kid can kind of get used to playing with the magnets and how durable the magnets can be and and sometimes they're a little bit fragile if you play with them a little bit too hard um, but there's like endless possibilities with these magnets um, my kids started out with like those big chunky blocks and then kind of moved from the top from the blocks to the magnet tiles and i think this was such a good Kind of transition because this one is a lot more creative you can do so many more things with this one especially with like any of your little toys like my kid loves playing with her blue toys with this 10 out of 10 we definitely recommend these magnet